You ever had a prophecy and, and it felt right at the time and people confirmed it, but then, wow, it goes south, gets pear-shaped, looks ugly. You think, oh God, well, I just put it on the shelf won't revisit or, or else maybe you just got a whole faith crisis and said, well, God isn't real and the whole church is no good and ministers, well, they just say things that are positive for whatever. And, but maybe rather than go there, we just stay in tune with the Lord and say, help me understand this mystery, God, because there are some mysteries. Some of them you get to understand some of them you don't. And when you hit a mystery, change gears to, to neutral. Don't get into reverse and get out of the kingdom. Just, just say, God, I'm not fully understanding what is happening here. And if He chooses to let you know, well and good. If not, trust Him. Trust God. Move from an aggressive faith to a place of reposed trust. Say, I trust you, Lord. Even though I don't understand it, I trust you. Many believers have been in that place. Think of Job, couldn't understand why. What's going on in my world? Until after, obviously, he saw the revelation, how the devil got involved. Others who had mysteries happen, they didn't know what God was doing, like Joseph getting sold by his brothers and down into a prison and then accused unjustly of attempted rape and going up and down in his life. It's just a mess until finally his brothers are standing before him begging for grain, and he understands this. You meant it for evil, but God meant it for good. 